Okay, ladies, we've got work to do. We are heading to Mercat Central, one of Europe's biggest food markets, where you'll find everything from the finest saffron to several types of fresh local beans, all in this very cool Art Deco building. Look at it. Wow. Beautiful, what? Wow. The organizers of the paella competition are going to provide the 10 must-have ingredients that make up an authentic paella. Let's see if the girls remember what they are. Olive oil, rice, water, garrufo. That's the flat white butter bean. Pollo. Oh, rabbit. Azafran. Seven. Green beans. Green beans. Eight. Uh, salt. Yes. And Tomato. 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 Okay, fantastic. But ladies, there is more. As well as our 10 must-haves, people in different regions use extra ingredients depending on what's in season. After extensive research, paella maestros found eight were most commonly used and considered them as optional ingredients in an authentic paella. So the eight additional ingredients that we can add are paprika, Snails, rosemary, garlic, duck, tabella beans, artichoke, and pork ribs. For first timers, less is more. Don't complicate your life, ladies. Okay, how about we walk around and see what ingredients we find? Great, let's, let's do it. As rocky paella chefs, the girls already have enough to worry about, believe me. So they are better off choosing only a few extras. You know, Dad, you can help out a little bit. I think we should add another vegetable. What about artichokes? They're in season right now. Let's add artichokes. Y nos llevamos alguna cachofa. So many decisions to make a paella. You understand that every person is opinionated. Every person in Valencia is the paella police. Ole, gracias. No, y le puedo poner un poquito de chorizo y la paella. ¿Qué quieres que nos enfademos? Okay, artichokes are a good addition. Now let's take things to another level. What about pimenton? Paprika, or pimenton, as it's known in Spain, is made from small dried red peppers. Locals use it to give their paella delicate smoky flavor and to make the dish look colorful. We have two types of pimenton. We have natural pimenton and de la vera. Is <laughs> A smoke it. What do we add to the paella? Natural. Okay, so that Perfect. means that we get this pimenton. Yeah. Snails. It must be my Spanish roots, but snails are my favorite. I love snails. People, I totally understand if a snail snack doesn't rock your boat, but they are a treat here and very popular in authentic paella. Sometimes, snails are used for their intense rosemary-like taste. How are you? Look at different types. Oh my God, take a look at this. This is a snail central. Does it matter which type we put in the paella? Se puede poner todo, pero lo típico de la paella es las serranas. Serrana, also known as baqueta snails, are a small, lightly colored variety and only found in eastern Spain. They slide around on farmland and in the mountains, where they feed on wild rosemary and thyme. ¿En qué momento lo echamos? Cuando tengas ya la verdura un poco hecha, para que coja un poquito de gusto, y luego la carne y todo, y ya se acaban de cocer en... Okay, let's buy the snails, let's buy the snails. <laughs> Well done, ladies. You see how beautiful this market is? We're done. Let's go. 